Hey everybody, welcome to part two of the west leg of the Trent waterway. Um, in this video we'll be going through locks 45 as we are right now waiting to go in. Locks 44, 43 and 42 all shot in time warp just to give you guys a bit of an understanding of what distance is covered. Here in the lock there's a turtle right at the front waiting to come out. You probably can't see him at the time warp but yeah this whole video shot at 30 times time warp just to speed it up. It was a bit of a different video. Decided to cut out all of Georgian Bay and uh, Kuchiching and Simcoe just because the waters were too rough and the video quality wasn't really uh, up to par. Plus, this just gives you guys an idea of the locks we had to go through and uh, we'll be doing more throughout the summer. There's already another video in the making that has us going through another one, but uh, yeah, put some focus on the locks here. Um, went through 45 there, stopped for some gas, now we're going through all the waterways here, um, lots of turns and twists, luckily we all have navy, me and Forrest both have navy, so not an issue, guides us right to where we want to go. This video really has no cuts in it other than when I needed to change my battery, or if a big drop of water hit the camera, I may have cut that out, but realistically, it was only a couple seconds of video, so this is pretty well a full trip back. Um, just going up into the big chute here, lock 44, this is quite a cool and unique lock. Um, be cool if we could get front here, but this uh, fat looking Yamaha got in before us, water level drops, tilt our units on the side and up we go. Wish it was this quick in real life, but yeah, not bad, quite a cool lock anyways to experience. More video of it in part one on our way out, but uh, yeah, went through the lock, kept flying our way across the waterway here. Some cool sights. Weather was beautiful in here. Once we got out to the main water, it was pretty rough though, but uh, I was sore the next day crossing Simcoe. That's a pretty rough lake. Realistically, all in a good day of fun, right? Continue our way through here. Lots of uh, 10 kilometer an hour zones like here. Um, looks pretty quick because we're in time lapse, but Realistically, you could get across these four locks fairly quickly on a sea do if it wasn't for the 10 kilometer no wake zones. Um, you could probably do a whole chunk of the waterway in a lot less time than most people. But you're stuck here and you have no choice but to obey the law, right? So, right over here, Mark actually hit me with the sea do, caught a bit of my wake, bumped into me. And uh, you'll see right here, he chose to stop and apologize to my sea do. What a nice guy. And we kept going into lock uh, 43 here, um, pretty quick, didn't have much weight. Um, this was the tallest lock we went into, tallest one I've been in so far. But it also moved fairly quickly, got us up and out in no time at all. Um, all in good fun. Make it out of the lock here and continue our trip. It was only a two day trip, but uh, we didn't spend much time at the campsite, it was just place to sleep, turn around and start our adventure back the next day. Here we're back in another 10 kilometer an hour zone. Um, still beautiful sights, beautiful weather. Couldn't complain, especially over here with all the rock faces. And we keep going. Um, both our machines worked really well up until over here. I'll mention it in a sec when we hit Sparrow. But uh, used lots of gas. Obviously when I'm in eco mode, I could drink just as much as his 155, but once I hit touring and especially sports, you could almost watch the thing drink. Um, yeah, nothing to complain about, pay as you play. Over here we came out onto Sparrow Lake, um, wasn't too bad, so we just ripped it right across to pick up the channel here on the other side. Um, Mark pulls away over here because my IBR failed on me. Um, had a a code pop up and it wouldn't work um, so I had to restart the engine everything works fine since so call it a glitch but concerning um, because obviously when your IBR if anyone's using these when you hit your brake and then into reverse the, the throttle becomes throttle for reverse but when your IBR glitches out like that A you don't have brake B if you hit your throttle while holding your brake it actually still accelerates forward that's a bit of a safety concern, so if anyone starts getting those codes, obviously be careful. You don't want to think you're slowing down or stopping and then accidentally accelerate into a rock or even worse, somebody else. So 
And we keep passing all the cottages here, um, all 10 kilometer an hour zone. Took quite a while to get through realistically because of the speed, but uh, some really nice cottages, some nice parties going on. To me, it's a bit too far from the main lake. I would hate to have to go 20 minutes in a no wake zone just before I hit open water, but uh, to each their own. Waterfront property is better than no waterfront property. So, kept making our way through here. It was nice and fun. Um, now we're making it up to the lock 42 here. A bit of a video cut there just because I turned sideways to talk to Mark for a couple minutes while we waited. Um, came in behind this guy. No need to smoke cigarettes when you ride behind this guy. Get enough carbon monoxide into you. But uh, went up the lock, guy signs our tickets, checks everything out, and uh, yeah, that's about it. That was the last lock of the day. Like I said, I cut out Kuchiching and Simcoe and just because it was too rough, pulled through the Holland Marsh back into our marina to probably another two hours after this. But uh, anyways, this will wrap up this video for the four locks we go through. We'll show you some more in the future. But as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that bell for notifications. Follow on Instagram. Also follow Mark Forrest there in front of me at Forest Sound. Links in the description. Um, and yeah, we really look forward to seeing you on the next adventure. Ride safe and uh, see you all soon.